hey welcome back to the channel and some more DMZ and I thought I'd do a quick video just showing my favourite M4 and TAC 56 build um, I'm going to start with the M4 this is like easily my favourite gun um, this is my go to gun <laughs> this thing's an absolute beast I'm not going to lie um, it's built a bit more for range but yeah this thing just shreds at any range to be honest with your AI and real people so yeah I'll quickly show you the barrel I went for the high tower 20 inch um, obviously this is the best one for range but that hit fire accuracy comes in clutch at times um, I do like to use a good stimmy so uh, <laughs> yeah it comes in handy when I'm using that and I can just shoot from the hip if there's someone in front of me um, yeah this thing's like a laser which you'll see in a bit uh, for the muzzle I use the FSS Covert 5 suppressor um, this seems to be the best one for the M4 um, it's got the best smoothness and uh, recoil control out of all of them and you get that little bit more bullet velocity as well which is always good um, but this is probably the best for a range when I'm using a shorter build for the M4 I tend to go for the broadhead but yeah so the FSS covert for a bit more of a longer range build uh, the FTAC Ripper 56 is an under barrel um, I don't really use this one too much I do like the X10 Grave Digger not gonna lie but um, yeah, this one just seems to work best on this build, so yeah, that's why I've got this one. Uh, 60 round mag, again at range you're going to miss a few bullets here and there, so it's always nice just to have a bigger mag. And then finally the Schlager 3.4 time zoom. Um, yeah, this thing's really good. I tried it with the times 4 but I don't know, the recoil just a little bit too much. Um, yeah, this thing's perfect with the recoil for this gun, so... Uh, yeah, I went for this one, plus it gives you that extra range and accuracy. So, yeah, I can't go wrong. Um, yeah, that's the build, really. I don't chew my weapons. <laughs> uh, there's a few reasons why I don't, so I'm not going to get into that now. But, um, yeah, I spend long enough just uh, finding the right attachments for them. So, yeah, I really don't need to be doing all that, to be honest with you. But, yeah, if anyone wants to tune them, it's up to them. I'm sure it will help. But uh, quickly show you what it looks like. It helps that they're really nice looking guns as well, not going to lie. The TAC-56 looks really good too. And yeah, let's go test it out. This thing's an absolute laser, especially at these short to mid ranges. And then even at distance, the recoil is so easy to control. Um, yeah, that's just stood up as well, it's not even crouching. But yeah, you aim for the head, and yeah, they're going down like a sack of shit, not going to lie. But yeah, you take down anyone tier threes, they go down in a few bullets. If you get all headshots, uh, the juggernaut you can do in like half a clip. So like I say, just aim for the head, and yeah, they go down. And then for a little bit more, I do like to mantle. I do think mantle is underrated, especially in like DMZ and that. I get it why it's annoying the multiplayer, but yeah, this thing literally turns into a laser when you're mounted. Get a little lean mount going as well. But yeah, I love this gun. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to show the uh, TAC 56 as well, but. Um... Yeah, this thing's just as good as that at close range. But yeah, this is my go-to gun. Um, another reason I like using the TAC is just otherwise I use nothing but M4s. Like, I've got about six or seven builds for this gun that I use. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to mix it up every now and then. One more look at it. And yeah, that's the M4. This thing's a beast. I've got two jug um, weapons they can solo with it. And yeah, so good. Like, yeah, definitely recommend this one. And then quickly show you the tack now. Uh, not that one, that one. But yeah, this one's built a bit more uh, mid to short. It's okay at long ranges, but it does bounce a little bit. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I went for the Zulu 60 muzzle. Um, keeps it nice and quiet. Again, helps with the bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, and uh, the handling doesn't go down too much compared to uh, some of them. So, uh, yeah, it's really nice. Plus, it's the easiest to control with it, I think. 
Again, the X10 Grave Digger, I really like this grip. Um, yeah, it makes the recoil control really nice for the tack. Uh, 40 round mag, I didn't go for the 61 on this one. Um, again, it's a bit more closer range, so I do like to have that bit more maneuverability. And uh, yeah, when I'm closer range, like more bullets are gonna hit anyway, so yeah, I don't really need the 60 mag. <laughs> Plus I play a lot of multiplayer, so I'm reloading after every couple of shots anyway. Like that's something I really need to get out of. Um, the FFS combat grip, this just helps with recoil. Again, you can go with anything. I was choosing between either this or the bullet velocity, but um, yeah, I think I'd just prefer having the extra recoil, to be honest with you. And then finally, for the sight, I got the AIMOP V4. Again, I don't really use this one, um, but it seems to work really nice with this build and this gun. Uh, the other op that I do use for this one is the Corio. There it is, the Corio REX Pro. It's a really nice sight as well, but. Um, yeah, it seems to have a bit more luck with this one. So yeah, I went for the AIM V4. Quickly show you what it's like. Again, not quite as good as the uh, as the M4, but this is a really nice gun at close and mid range. And again, it looks really nice. Might even look a little bit better than the uh, M4. I'm not too sure. Does look pretty sexy though, doesn't it? Not gonna lie. <laughs> and the uh, short to mid range, this thing's just a laser. Gets a little bit bouncy at range. So I do like to burst it a little bit, but um, yeah, if anyone gets too close, they're pretty screwed, not gonna lie. Again, even at range it works well, but you just can't hold down the trigger, unfortunately. Not like the M4. But you know what, that's okay. This gun isn't designed for long range anyway. Like I say, it's built more for me to short range. Nice headshot on the end line. <laughs> right, quick mantle. Again, just a bit of a laser. It gets a little bit bouncy at distance, but still pretty controllable. That was quite nice, actually. <laughs> Again, mountain's underrated. Like I don't see enough people doing it, which is good, because I'll probably die more to it, but... Yeah, especially when someone's at range, like it really helps with that recoil control. And yeah, that's about it. Um I'll probably use them in games at some point. You'll probably see that M4 quite a lot. Um, like I say, that is my go-to gun. Um, I don't know, the only problem is, like, because I use some blueprints and some camos, um, they don't always load in properly, so it looks completely different. doesn't look quite this good, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, hopefully they fix that soon for Series 2. Um, like I say, I don't use this one as much as I would like. Hopefully, this thing should be an absolute beast in the uh, Chica map that's going to be coming out here. I think it's about, what, 14 days now? So, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that test to run out on that. Obviously, the M4 is going to destroy on it. Like, <laughs> that M4 is just so good, I love it. But, see what I mean? This gun's a beast. I say it's not even meant for long range, but, yeah, once you learn to control it, it is an absolute beast, not going to lie. <laughs> but, yeah, that'll do for this one. I say just a short one, just to show off these guns. Um, like I said, they're pretty much the only two that I use. I do want to start using snipers at some point, but I'll probably wait until I get my second insured weapon. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.